What's up guys, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, a video here looking today at the ID4100 ICOM D-Star Radio. Uh, skip the unboxing part and just get to it and uh, show you what it's about. I did make a video when this was announced in February and um, so Gigaparts was nice enough to lend me this radio to check it out. Uh, I've since uh, sold my ID51 uh, handheld. I have so many digital modes here and uh, that one had to go for other projects but I'll I'll be picking something else up shortly but the 4100 here they call this um, an entry level with big features. I, I don't know if it's really entry level this thing's got a lot of a lot of features um, looking right at it you, it reminds you with this face in the body of the 880H um, but essentially this radio here is the ID51 plus two handheld in a 50 watt mobile form. Um, so it's in the menu, it has, it's like identical of the stuff that it has in the 5100 and the 51 that I had. Uh, stuff like DR mode, all right? It has uh, GPS built in, but now again, the, the big features of this is um, besides the, <laughs> Let me show you. Besides being able to change the colors of this thing, which I guess is is fun if uh, you know you want to change the the uh, LCD backlight color from green to amber to uh, white and then to blue. So I kept it on the green. But then you could also change the uh, the backlight or the key backlight color. The keys down here you could actually change to those different colors too. A cool little thing, uh, it does have a lighted DTMF keypad that you can't change the colors on, but it is lighted. Um, so looking into the features that this incorporated that's um, similar to the uh, ID51 Plus 2 is the addition of the DV Gateway. Now the DV Gateway offers two things. Um, that make this radio a little bit different. With the optional cable, I think it's the 2350, OPC 2350 cable and uh, Windows or an Android device. You can use this in two ways. You can use this with terminal mode and access point mode. So terminal mode would allow you to talk into this radio through a, into the gateway or network using this connected to an Android device um, or a Windows device. There's, you have to have the Bluetooth module in here. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but you can use this as a terminal. So kind of like the FTM 400 Yesu Mobile uses the HRI 200 to, to make it act like a uh, node. Okay, This is with built-in. Uh, also, you'll need the software and the, the cable um, in order to uh, you know, connect this to the, as a terminal. So then you can take your mic and talk right into it. Uh, without a repeater or a hotspot in your area. Now the other mode is the access point mode. Access point mode um, will allow you now to turn this into sort of like a hotspot. Now you can connect this into the gateway and have say if you're at a ham fest or a club gathering and you can get this thing with the appropriate software and cable onto the internet. Now you can talk into this as a hotspot and um, to any gateway or reflector that you choose on the network. So the Plus 2, ICOM ID51 Plus 2 handheld, 50th anniversary, Plus 2, whatever it is, uh, has this feature also. My ID51 anniversary, or ID51A, regular, did not. Um, so one, that's one of the biggest features. So if, you're, if you like your ID51 uh, handheld or your 51 Plus 2, but you want you know, a, a mobile form of that, I would say this is very identical in the menu. Um, it kind of looks the same. It can be used as a regular VHF FM mobile, dual band, FM. 50 watt uh, VHF or UHF. The uh, also has DV mode, so now you can use it like any old D Star radio uh, on VHF or UHF again through a repeater. Um, through a repeater with a gateway like we have the one here in Vero, the WA4TCD machine. 78 Charlie is the reflector. Uh, but then, you know, with the DR mode, you can use this while traveling and, uh, you know, 
go in on a certain repeater. For instance, here's uh, Melbourne, which is uh, close to me. And then you can link to uh, a different, a uh, use the reflector, you know, to talk through the gateway uh, around the world. So, I mean, D star is, is nothing new right now. D star is, is pretty popular. And ICOM decided to uh, release this version uh, based on, you know, the, the you know, because the other radios like the 92 uh, handheld and the original uh, uh, 880 might not have a lot of the features like repeater list and stuff that this has. And uh, so this is basically, in comparison, I'm going to say this is like the FT2DR Yesu, and then it, its counterpart, the FTM400, so they kind of have the same interoperability. Whereas this is like the ID51 Plus 2, and this is the ID4100 Mobile. The ID4100, uh, talking about the actual radio, um, detachable screen, or detachable uh, face here, okay, and it does come with the extension cable. So you can have this mounted remotely. A um, little small space, a small screen doesn't take up too much room, all right? And underneath the face plate would be where, you, of course, you would put your extension cable here. And your SD card, micro SD card here. I do want to invite you to check out the local um, group that's on Facebook that's in my area. The guys that I know, the guys you see in my videos, WA4TCD, Whiskey Alpha 4 Tango Charlie Delta. It's a Facebook group. Um, just click join. You can join the group. And these guys always have updated code plugs they have digital university which is a uh, a club that they put together with 30 or 40 people that show up on certain weekends where they teach and show you updates one saturday a month um, but they're also going to be trying to put those videos online too but wa4 tcd facebook group does have a lot of info and updated code plugs because with these radios here, what I found on the ID51 was that the ICOM repeater database is not as up to date as it should be. So it doesn't, even if I updated it, if this was my radio, it doesn't have, at, at the time that I know of, uh, our local machines uh, here. You know, it may have the closest ones that have been around for a while, but uh, the, the getting, getting um, you know, the updated... Uh, I say code plugs, that's probably a DMR terminology, but uh, they have a lot of info and images that you can download right from their site and get the most uh, up-to-date repeaters, because a lot of people always tell me in my videos, hey, I travel that way, what frequency is this, what frequency is that? Um, on the other side of the radio, you know, the fan, the SO239, um, and your ports back here for your, uh, prog your, your data cable and your speaker out. Um, as I talked before and said, the DTMF mic, it seems that you can't do everything from this microphone. I mean, you can go, um, you know, enter in some frequencies and stuff, but it doesn't seem like you can operate this remotely in the menu from here. So you will have to do some of the stuff on the radio itself. But with the radio, all the features on here, I mean, some of them in the quick, the quick button, you remember on the ID51, there's a quick button where you can get into the most used features. Um, the DR mode, the menu, everything, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of identical to an ID51 uh, plus two, but in just a little bit of a different form. Uh, so, you know, it, it's uh, not really, it, what I like to do is I like to get radios, like if you haven't seen my, my ICOM 7300 video, I didn't even open the manual on that. I kind of like to do videos when I'm looking at this or even playing with stuff and seeing what I can learn and how fast I can get on the air with this thing without a remote. Because there has been a couple radios where I was stumped, primarily the China radios. Um, but then a lot of them are the same too. So I like to know if I can get on this thing without a manual, get on a frequency real quick and start talking. And then I learn afterwards in the manual the ins and outs of the radio. Because uh, nobody likes really getting something and just having no idea how to use it and spending a day reading the manual. So, so far, because I was familiar with the ID51, um, this I was familiar with. It took me about two minutes to get into the menu and remember all the features, uh, where they were, what they were called. So not learning an entirely new radio uh, with the 4100 here. So I think that's a great investment for you. Uh, very 
active D-Star operators that want to get a mobile and instead of hooking up and getting an amplifier for your handheld, consider one of these because this will uh, have all your needs for the D-Star with all the most up-to-date features um, in a radio that's not a complete different monster to understand and learn. So a big question you might ask, does it come with the mobile mounting bracket? The answer is no. The answer is the mobile mounting bracket is an optional accessory. Does come with the extension cable for the remote head and the DC cable and the remote mic and the uh, um, mounting bracket or the uh, microphone hanger. But uh, another optional accessory you might consider for this is something new um, as far as the Android app uh, would be also now with the Bluetooth board that you can get additionally for this. The Bluetooth board allows you to control this radio remotely with Apple and Android through the app. Now, I had a couple people uh, in my area say, I, I just saw that you can control this Bluetooth via uh, an Apple device. And yes, you can. The app uh, is available in the App Store and um, will allow you to do the pictures, the remote you know, s setting of this. If you, if you haven't seen the app for remote control on this, or I think the, uh, the uh, 5100, I think, does it, but um, shows you repeaters in areas on a map, shows you a whole bunch of stuff, and then you can set the radio from the app over Bluetooth. Now, the Bluetooth module is an additional accessory, does not come with this unless your dealer uh, uh, decides to throw it in as a package deal. Gigaparts does have those, and uh, um, it can be installed inside the radio. Bluetooth can also be used for a headset, optional headset, Bluetooth audio from this so you can keep your eyes on the road, your hands off the mic, and uh, use a Bluetooth uh, headset for this. Not exactly sure which Bluetooth headsets will be compatible with this. I'm pretty sure Icon makes one, but uh, there might be several choices for that. And uh, another cool feature for the Bluetooth. Oh, good afternoon, John, KJ4YZI. I was uh, playing with this ID4100 and uh, I hadn't been on D-Star in a little while, so I didn't, uh, didn't know if I had my open spot set up correctly or what, but uh, how you doing? Actually, yeah, well, I've had it for a couple of weeks. I just haven't had the time. Six meters came up in the contest and all that, so I haven't uh, really... I mean, I, I've been playing with it, but haven't really uh, got um, any video footage until now. So uh, that's actually what I'm doing right now, if you don't mind. I'm just uh, getting a clip seeing. What are you, heading back from uh, Lakeland, John? Are you on a road trip? Very good. Yeah, it's uh, I guess the rainy weather's back for a few days. Um, I got to get out there and do some antenna work, but I haven't been able to uh, take the vertical down, fix 20, and uh, put a J pole up for vertical on two meters. So uh, I guess I'll be doing that Sunday. And then next weekend is the field day, so. Um, Saturday I'll probably I don't know what time I'll get there I'll probably be there um, I'll probably get there later on in the day overall the ID4100 I if I was looking for an ICOM uh, D-Star mobile I would buy this 
Um, a lot of people say that they're happy with their 5100 and uh, they're happy with their 51 anniversary or 51 plus 2. I think this one's right in the in between. You know, it does everything you need. All the features that you would need are there. I don't see why you need anything else. Um, the Again, the Android app, sending pictures from Android, uh, iOS compatibility, uh, you know, um, terminal mode access, point mode, Bluetooth headset. It really is a, a decent radio. And thank you for uh, Gigaparts for letting me check this out. Um, I did want to see it and play with it when it came out. Uh, kind of quiet around here. There's a reflector down, and uh, or our reflectors down, so I can't get a hold of the normal guys I talk to that are D Star fanatics. Um, but overall, they uh, they they for the most part like it. Uh, everybody has their own radio, you know. Everybody has their their niche. So uh, thanks for watching, checking out the ID4100. Subscribe for more videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Comment. Share on Facebook and uh, more videos on the way. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.